Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. C Chronicles is my name. My content is mostly fragrance reviews, if it's your first time here. And I do fashion and lifestyle videos as well. Uh, I also intend throwing in DIYs as I go. So if you're here, obviously there's something that drew you to this channel. Uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed, please do consider subscribing. I would appreciate you doing that. Um, and to my returning subscribers, thank you very much for coming back as always. Uh, thank you for supporting this channel. I appreciate that. Um, um, today I am bringing you 10 fragrances that I feel, uh, uh, you know, would make you uh, uh, feel, uh, um, you know, elegant, effortlessly. That's what I'm here to bring you. I have 10 fragrances in, in front of me that just ooze elegance, you know, that when I wear them, I just feel wow okay um but before i get into the 10 fragrances there is something that i wanted to say um if you notice that i'm speaking a bit slower okay i have a subscriber that reached out to me her name is ivana thank you very much ivana okay uh, she's the second person to mention this i remember somebody said it uh but that was like a couple a couple of months ago that uh thank you for your content cecilia but you tend to speak a lot you know like fast okay um and um it, the first time I, I just read it and then it went past and I think I fell back. But, you know, from this moment on, I will try to make sure that I speak, you know, um, I try to keep, you know, to 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 speak um, not really, really slow, but I try to speak slowly if I can. Uh, but, it, you know, uh, another thing that I wanted to mention besides me being a, a fast speaker, I have like, um, you know, a bit of a history as well in broadcasting. So I guess because I was a fast speaker, you know, I got into uh, that area uh, because of that, you know, and, uh, you know, I was used to doing commercials and uh, voiceovers, um, you know, anchoring, and you, you get used to working within a time frame, something that I should have just, um, you know, uh, I'm not into broadcasting at the moment, but I'm just explaining that this fast tongue of mine uh, is mainly something that I'd attribute to having worked in broadcasting and where time, you know, is uh, something that is really important, you know. So if you've got like 30 seconds and you have to fit in everything, you tend to really speak fast. So, you know, I hope um, those that were finding my speaking really fast, um, will notice uh, the difference here. You know, she did say, the, uh, you know, the, this subscriber of mine, Ivana said, you know, um, I can understand you, but I feel that those people maybe who, you know, don't use English as a first language or, you know, um, pre, you know, uh, mold words in a certain way might find it a bit, you know, or get lost in some of the explanations. So thank you very much for that. That was really constructive criticism. I appreciate that. Now I'm going to get straight into the video and show you 10 fragrances within my collection that I feel I effortlessly, effortlessly elegant okay if i pick something here that you don't think is elegant please don't get offended this is just because i've picked out fragrances that are within my collection so i'm working with what i have already okay so you might find something here and feel oh no 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 that one so no offense okay the first fragrance i'm going to talk about is this one i'm not really getting in depth in terms of notes but i'm just going to show you the fragrances gucci guilty absolute perfume Christ, this this fragrance, honestly, I you know, this is just a sexy black currant mixed with some rose and some pink pepper. This is not your typical synthetic or generic, you know, kind of scent. It is this one has depth, and it's one of those that I you know I go for if I want an uplifting fragrance. This fragrance just automatically, you know, lifts my mood, you know, for some reason. So I find it um not only expensive smelling but it is one fragrance that i just feel even if i'm down you know this is one fragrance that i i even for the respect of it won't wear it if i'm feeling a certain way because this is just to me elegance in a bottle okay now i'm going to move on to the next one the next one is mongerlain intense okay i've been raving and raving about mongerlain this is not new to people that follow uh, this channel and to show you you know i, I actually took my little mongerlain um fragrances just to show you that I'm, I, I don't joke with this fragrance okay Montgolain intense I'm just showing you so that you can see for yourself okay I have this one this one is not an intense but I have this one as well okay this fragrance just does it for me okay I even have a mini of it here Montgolain intense is like your warm spicy um you know uh, vanilla mixed with some lavender 
right um what makes this one particularly special is you know it, it's more it's less of the lavender that you get in the edp and more of the vanilla so it gives you that sophisticated you know aura around you it really just smells um it smells rich it smells deep and mature you know it's a classic fragrance as far as i'm concerned a fragrance that i think would still appeal even in the next century so this to this is definitely a classic for me it's a hit you know I, I i can't see anyone going wrong with this i know some people might not like it but the good thing about um the mon Guerlain line is they have you know the florel they have all these other ones that you know if you don't particularly like this there's definitely something that you might like in the other range but i just feel this just oozes this is an effortlessly elegant fragrance as far as i'm concerned okay the third one i'm going to talk about is not new so i'm not going to say much here this is baccarat rouge extrait uh you might have the one that is not the extrait uh i feel the fragrances just you know are one and the same thing in terms of how they uh, are perceived or how they are smelt you know by other people Baccarat Rouge Extrait to me is just a gorgeous amber uh, with a floral, you know, uh, mix in there. And there's like a bitter almond that comes in there as well. So it's just, just definitely, you know, one fragrance that with this, you simply can't go wrong. Although, you know, price wise, it might not be one of those fragrances that are accessible or, or just like that, because it uh, it is a bit on the costly side, but there are a number of alternatives to this uh, uh, fragrance. If you want, if you, the, the, the sort of person that doesn't mind, you know, um, uh, uh using alternative fragrances there are a number of alternative fragrances so i feel this is just elegance in a bottle guys uh the next one i'm going to talk about here is ajwad okay i tried to mix them up so that you know i don't come across as just showing um uh fragrances that are pricey the thing that i'm looking at is i sometimes keep my fragrances in the fridge so this is just what i wanted to show you this just came out of the fridge okay because i'm trying this to see whether it goes intense if it's in the fridge it is already an intense uh fragrance okay this is not um your softy this is like your creamy seductive uh fruity uh woodsy kind of uh you know uh floral this is luxurious the creaminess in here just makes it beautiful it just is a like a you know uh, the sort of uh fragrance that i see somebody uh you you could choose this for special occasions this could be one that you reach for um you know when you're going like maybe even for a suit and tie kind of event you know it just does what it does without trying too hard so that's why i included it here ajwad by Latafa. okay the next one i'm gonna talk about or i'm gonna show you as a fragrance that just oozes elegance okay this is effortlessly elegant okay and this is penhaligans okay now i see why uh abby there's um you know one youtuber a friend of mine abby she is I, I i can safely call her you know the penhaligans queen okay uh i see why you know she is crazy about this house they do great fragrances guys this is gorgeous this is the duchess uh the coverted duchess rose okay this fragrance is rosy obviously it's got some citrus in there it's a bit musky as well you know it is sophisticated this is a rose done in a way like no other okay i see somebody uh wearing this rose in a beautiful silk blouse with some dainty jewelry okay that's what i you know i picture and it's it's one you know that i i'm i'm gonna go slow on um using it it's at 75 ml but for the price i'm obviously not going to you know um use it up a lot because i i have to savor this until i can afford you know to buy or to add onto my pen uh collection so this is beautiful you know when i sprayed it the first time i was just wowed uh the good thing about it is i had it in a in an oil so i knew which one i wanted you know i had um i i think it's uh what was the other one um ruthless helen or something you know so uh, the other one that i have I, I have in an oil so it was easy for me to decide uh to uh um 
you know it was easier for me to to decide on this one uh this uh converted duchess rose it's just a beautiful rose okay so like i said you know in your silk blouse wearing your dainty really thin jewelry this would do it okay the next one i'm gonna show you is this one i did a video for most of the ones that are here uh except for the um gucci guilty absolute perform and uh this this one the, the the coveted duchess rose most of them i've done videos already so if you want in depth you know if you want an in depth like a review for them you can go on to uh, i'll put the, the 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 videos in the description box and you can click onto the description box and then you get like an in depth review of what the fragrances are actually about okay this one is Feyruz. Feyruz by this house called White Oud. This is like a crispy, rosy musk with some chocolate and a, a bit of some lemon. This is like a fashion forward fragrance, you know, which makes the wearer just different okay wearing this it, it, this just boosts my 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 confidence as well so this is one that is easy for me to decide on but it's one fragrance that like you know when i'm wearing it i i wouldn't i'm not the sort of you know I, it's it's a one bottle that until i get a backup i wouldn't just wear this you know lying around the house because to me it is just one fragrance that when i put on myself you know i i, I prefer to go out there and i know i'm going to get compliments and i know i'll just feel if it's a deal that i wanted to clinch you know, this is just one, when you just walk in a room, it fills the room, but without necessarily cloying, okay? Cloying or, you know, making other people sick or something like that. It is just one fragrance that has got a presence, but like a, a sophisticated, elegant, uh, you know, uh, presence, all right? Uh, the next one I'm going to show you as a, an effortlessly elegant fragrance is d squared two one this is more on the playful side okay this is your like playful vanilla uh but this vanilla is not like a uh, um it's not like a childish vanilla it is like a it's a gorgeous beautiful playful vanilla but one that i would wear when i want you know or, or i would wear and then finish off with maybe you know your boyfriend uh um your boyfriend's shirt or a, or a blazer or something like that but looking really uh you know all the clean lines showing uh because in as much as you would be casual but it's that casual with that elegant feel so this is what i had you know uh this is my number uh, seven the number eight i'm about to finish um the number eight is going to be which one did i put as my number eight cartier okay cartier bazaar valet this fragrance guys it's this is like a lily not it's like a lily this is a lily fragrance okay this is a lily white floral a beautiful white floral that is just classy this fragrance i think is befitting for you know i always used to say mon Guerlain intense is or the edp is ideal like as a wedding scent i think this one as well is ideal as a wedding scent or like a special occasion scent where your scent is not necessarily in everybody's face okay but it's there and you just weave in a cross with it whether you're wearing your chiffon dress that is just flowing you know going with the wind this is the sort of fragrance that i picture it's like a soft spicy floral okay and uh lily here being like the keynote together with some citruses all right the next one is an affordable celebrity fragrance and this is adam levine for her this fragrance um you know is uh, i had to put like i said i've got a couple of fragrances here i mix them up i've got affordable ones i've got the um luxury ones and everything but i was trying to pick um you know um to mix them up so that you know this it balances off this is a cheapie um it is a celebrity fragrance obviously and it is a cheapie but what i get here is a warm spicy aromatic you know creamy fragrance this fragrance doesn't try too hard okay so for everything that has been said that is good about it you know i'm just here to anchor that everything that you've heard that is good about this fragrance i'm here to say that i know it's going to be like a, a hit or miss for other people but you know this is just one fragrance that is it's soft it's flowy it's elegant it's just it's airy as well it's not stuffy so it made it on my effortlessly elegant fragrances i have i was talking about 10 okay and this is the last one this one i did a video of it um this was not a love at first sniff okay 
it took a while for me to uh, kind of appreciate this. Okay, this is like your lavender and black currant mix. All right, this is YSL Lib, okay? This is your lavender and black currant mix. This I see, if I'm to wear this and, you know, uh, uh, go in, uh, this I wouldn't wear going out because it all depends as well, uh, you know, with who I'm going out with. I, I, I just personally wouldn't wear this for a date, but I feel it's got like the boss babe kind of vibes where you could wear this in an office or with your suit or your, or your formal wear. And this, you know, would be that kind of fragrance that is sophisticated where, you know, this, it just gives me boss babe vibes. So this is YSL Lib. That is my 10th elegant, effortlessly elegant fragrance. These are my recommendations based on what I have in my collection. I know, um, you know, uh, I hope you find one here that you'd agree with. These are just the ones that I thought are befitting. There are some that I haven't done reviews of. I will definitely bring the reviews, uh, you know, to you for the ones that I haven't done the reviews of. But uh, so far, these are fragrances that I feel you know, will probably always be present in my collection because they just make me feel some type of way, okay? They make me feel elegant and without really, uh, you know, trying too hard, they just do the talking without trying too hard for me. They're not childish. They are just those fragrances that just tick the mark. So that's what I had for you guys for my 10 effortlessly elegant fragrances. Um, if you have some that you'd like to, uh, you know, throw in, throw them in the comment section, let me know. I have obviously a lot more that I wanted to put here but i wanted to keep the fig uh, you know the, the the video with just 10 fragrances so that it doesn't just get you know unnecessarily long i hope you enjoyed watching this video uh please uh do consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already uh like this video if you do like it uh turn on post notifications so that you're notified anytime i upload a video share this video as well and remember guys smelling good is a form of good manners cheers <laughs>